Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and in today's Tableau tutorial, what I wanna cover with you is how do you highlight a column in a Tableau worksheet, okay? So we're actually gonna cover this in two parts. We're gonna cover what happens if you're highlighting on a dimensional value, and also what happens if you are trying to highlight a measure value, okay? So let's start with dimension. All right, so I've got a simple worksheet. Uh, I've got subcategory on my row shelf. I've got segment on my column shelf. So let's say that I just wanna highlight the corporate column and not highlight the other two, all right? So this is a little tricky, right? Because um, Tableau highlight tables don't work well with dimensional values. What I mean by that is if I change my mark type to square and then just drop segment on color, Tableau leaves the actual little squares in the background. But if I had just put a measure on color, oh, it's perfectly, you know, formatted and the cells fill out like a conditionally formatted table. What are you gonna do, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let me go back a couple steps to when it was just a text table, all right? And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a calculated field it's called one. That's just the maximum of the number one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make the background of these cells bar charts, and they're all gonna be perfectly the length of one. So I say, okay change my mark type to bar. I get kind of a weird nub of a bar at the beginning of each cell. So I'm gonna take one, drag and drop that on size in the marks card. Now I've got these bars, they're a little skinny, but they're filling out the space. So I'm gonna drag the size slider to its maximum value. I'm gonna to go to color in the marks card, and then I'm gonna change the border to like a light gray color. So now I have a condition, or I, I guess it's not a conditionally formatted table yet, but I have a highlight table with the rectangles all filled out in the background. Uh, and, and now uh, all I need to do is just take the field from columns like segment, drag and drop this on color. And then notice it just gave me these three, you know, random colors. So if I just edit the colors, what I could do for looks, I think we wanted to highlight the middle column. So let's just leave corporate as orange and I'll make consumer white. And I'll also make home office white. Uh, simplest way to do that is just to double click on that value, like home office. Takes you through to this color picker in the bottom right is just the color white. So we hit okay. And now just that central column, uh, the subcategory segment being corporate, uh, I'm sorry, just the segment being corporate is, is now highlighted. Okay. So a little bit different approach if you are trying to highlight the column, but it's a measure. Right, so now I've got a similar looking worksheet, but notice the difference here. Subcategory is once again on the row shelf, but now I have measure names on the column shelf. So let's say once again, I, I'm trying to highlight that center column, uh, in this case, profit, right? So similar, uh, well, let me think about this for a second, actually. Um, this is actually gonna be a little bit of a different approach. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna change the mark type to square this time. Okay, then I'm gonna get a copy of measure values from my data pane, drop that on color. So now it's just given one total color range for all my values, but maybe I only want profit to kind of be colored like that, like, you know, orange to blue. So what I'm gonna do, this measure values that's on color in the marks card, I'm gonna hit the drop down on this pill and say, use separate legends, okay? So now sales, profit, and quantity all have their own unique color legends. You can see that over here on the right side of my screen. So the ones that we don't wanna be colored like sales, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the drop down here on sales and edit colors. I'm gonna hit this drop down. I'm gonna choose one of the diverging palettes, like let's just go with orange, blue, diverging. And I'm just gonna pick white on both ends. So the orange end, I'll pick white. The blue end, I just click on the square. I'll set that to white. And I'm gonna make it a stepped color with only two steps. So on the one end, you can be white. And on the other end, you can be white. Those are your only options. So you hit okay. And now you can see sales, right? It's just this nice white cell. Uh, so then quantity, same thing. I hit the drop down on this uh, legend, edit colors. And I've actually created my own custom uh, diverging palette. I just call it all white diverging um, so that I can even cut a couple steps out of this. It makes it a little bit faster. Um, I'll drop a link below for how you create uh, custom color legends in Tableau. It's a blog post I, I wrote a while back. 
Um, so now I'm trying to think about what would be the best way. Yeah, we can just add borders through the uh, color tab in the marks cards. You can see there, I just added some borders to break these up. I think I might need to add like a column divider um, in uh, the formatting window, I believe. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, there we go. So cool, now I have these broken out cells and just that middle one profit is highlighted. If I wanted to make it a single color, I could kind of go uh, muck around with this color legend, but I've got this set up so that there's only color on the center column. So. I hope that uh, both of these approaches were interesting, and I hope that at least one of them uh, answered your question about how to highlight a single column in a Tableau worksheet. So uh, yeah, thanks for following along, appreciate that. And we'll catch you for another tutorial here on the One Number YouTube channel next week.